A long time ago, in the 1870s, a man named James Holman decided to build a hotel on the small island in the Summerside Harbor. What might be considered the first tourist hotel in Canada, it had a good run for five or six years until Mr. Holman suddenly died and the hotel closed. Now here I am, 148 years later, I decided I wanted to visit the island and open a hotel of my own. I'm just kidding, I have nothing to do. Now I did want to learn a little bit about the island before I went over there, so I went down to the library and grabbed a bunch of random local historic books. But I was kind of struggling and didn't really find anything, and the uh, washrooms were closed, so thankfully the ladies there told me to go visit Howard at the White House where they have old local newspapers, articles, and a working washroom. Six, so it should be one of these. And boy did he deliver. We ended up printing off 40 or so articles from the past 100 years. Various pictures, ads, visits, the restaurant menu and even strange stories like a fella who lived on the island and the mysterious rock that Lowell Hudson found. But what I couldn't ignore was this recurring theme coming up in every article. If I was going to make it back alive from this trip, there's still one place I had to go. Now that I was ready for war, the last thing to do was get my dad to cut my hair. Okay, we're not sinking yet. So that's a great sign. So I think the general idea here, we'll get more uh, square with the island, make our way over to the harbor, and make it the shortest possible pass. Just make things a little easier. So far so good, which, you know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. This could go south pretty quick. Geez, she's getting choppy. Wish I could relax a little bit. I feel a little bit on edge. So I wasn't expecting it to be this wavy. Choppy, sure, but we got some, we got some surf. <laughs> All right, time to get out. Okay, step one done. I think now we'll take off all the uh, swimming gear and we'll get into our forest gear and we'll do some exploring. I'd like to scout this island out and uh, find the best place to set up camp. This isn't too bad. Looks like it doesn't get wet very often, but I mean, it gets wet right there. So I don't know if I'm comfortable being that close to the water. I just noticed I finally ripped my shorts. So time I get a new pair. I think I got enough miles in these. So I might have made a mistake not wearing socks. We'll see what happens. I could get up here. It looks like there's a bit of a uh, bit of a path. But my goodness, is it ever overgrown? 
I think uh, maybe I'll circle around a little bit, see if there's any easier paths of entry, but I don't think we're going to get an, an easy path. this is a cleared path or what but you know looking from up here it's got potential I have no idea where the hotel was but it well a little bit of an idea it's probably on that like top tip of the island facing the city and we've kind of gone past it here and I think if we kind of cut off diagonally we should be able to see something if there is anything to be seen, so. There really is some nice trees here though, like, that's a big tree. Is that a birch? Like, look at what we're going up against here. It's pretty dense getting up into the area where I think the hotel is. So I've just kind of been beating around the bush, literally. I'm hoping that I can kind of cut in. I just take a little breather here. Skeeters aren't too bad. Just unzip my jacket. They're, they're at least not uh, bothering me. This head net's working pretty well. So the ground's clearly been disturbed here. Um, I can only guess maybe it's a fox or a skunk. If anyone else has any guesses, let me know. As long as it's not people chewing through logs and stuff and feel fairly safe. Well, this is suspicious. I remember reading somewhere, it might be hard to tell on camera, but the only real remains of this are um, the cellars. And this is the only kind of indent I've found on the island. The rest of it's pretty flat. I imagine. Well, that's pretty cool, you know? We'll take it. Let's keep exploring. There's probably a comical amount of mosquitoes around my head. Holy crow. Okay, I think we're on to something here. We got another hole. Just gonna walk the plank here. Oh wow. Something interesting up ahead here. I can feel it here. Not only because of the big indent, but the mosquitoes have really picked up. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, they own this island, so they're not happy I'm here. Well, this is my best guess as to where something was. A big cellar. Maybe this is right where the hotel was. It's kind of uh, interesting how these purple flowers are here. It's like a little memorial from uh, nature. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the beach. If I don't make it there, then I'm lost in the woods, but I'm gonna cook some dinner.
Oh my gosh. Oh, quite amazing how overgrown it's become. I imagine as I head toward the water here, this is where the front lawn was. <laughs> it's amazing what nature can do in a hundred years. I think uh, hotel closed in like the late 1800s and then it burned down in 1904. And uh, since then, I don't really know what was going on here. It's like the trees and the bushes were hard at work. <laughs> oh God, I gotta figure this out. Okay, I can see the beach. We're close. I forgot the whole reason I did that excursion was to find a better campsite, but I uh, might have got a little distracted. It's all good though. I think uh, this is probably our best bet, honestly. We got this big fallen tree, which is a bit of cover, and get to watch the city all night. I think uh, next, yeah, let's get into some food here. I'm starving. After a dozen or so handfuls of trail mix, it's time to start cooking. What we got tonight, we got some Tex-Mex. We've got green peppers and tomatoes and a can of tuna and tortillas. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward. Make some tuna tortillas. And uh, it's a little more elaborate than I'm used to. I'm not used to having so many ingredients. So see how I do here. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Okay, well, <laughs> oh God. We got a lot of cheese, so try to make the tuna last. Okay. Let's see if we can roll this up. Oh yeah, that'll be a hot tamale. Let me try to cheese seal it here. Okay, that's looking like it's grilling up quite well. Oh my lord! <laughs> that's ready to go. But we wouldn't be ready to eat without a nice uh, sugar-free fresca. Party time. Alright. Here's to finding some cellars in the woods. Nice. Wow, that was tasty. We got lots of ingredients still. So I'll probably make about five or six of these. I'm full now. I had four wraps, not to mention all the trail mix beforehand. Those were tasty. That might have been the best thing I ever cooked in, the wor in, in my life, not even just out in the woods. Well, this seems as good a spot as any. I definitely don't want to be in the woods. 
and uh, it looks like the water is going to come to about there and I don't think it's going to surge or anything overnight. Pretty good. the sunset was over but it's amazing when it dips over the horizon it just lights up the clouds what a cool pattern well I gotta say I feel pretty cozy in here this uh, thermoso is working wonders you can really tell <laughs> after it's been on for like 15 minutes it just clears the whole area i was going out there to take some pictures and uh the mosquitoes are just swarming me but then i come back here to the little sanctuary and it's all clear citronella candles probably doing a little bit too but i just got that to be a pretend bonfire about quarter to ten here now and uh i think i'll turn in here soon so uh, I'll see everyone bright and early. So rather than just do an aimless uh, lap of the island here, I thought we'd make it fun and uh, pick up some trash along the way. I only have a small garbage bag with me, but uh, it'd be better than nothing. I just want to pay my respects to the mosquitoes and birds that live here. I had a wonderful stay. <laughs> I made it about halfway down the island and the mosquitoes had other plans in mind for me. Um, pretty good haul though. That's pretty much all I can carry anyway. I think now we'll get all packed up and uh, head back to the mainland. Uh, the mosquitoes seem to be grouchy no matter the time of day, so I applaud Mr. Holman and his efforts for uh, trying to open a hotel here. Yeah, let's get going. All right, well, I think that's the end of this one. I'm assuming I'm gonna make it back here. I don't sink. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you next time. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get out yet, so I might still fall in. Yeah, I was camping over there last night. Used to be a hotel there. Yeah. yeah. 1904, I think. I was looking it up. I was trying to find it yesterday. <laughs>